The way we consume and share news today, it is largely rooted in social media outlets, a reason why it's crucial to look at what's being discussed online for our daily social media. I'm in there, we're joined by Erica in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. And holding on to summer with our outfits. Yes. <laughs> floral. It's still warm after all. It is. Yeah. Especially during the day. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Smart layers, everyone. Yep. Uh, all right, let's get started. So Soul City is apparently hosting an event to raise awareness and support, uh, well, for dementia patients particularly. I guess this makes sense. Um, we're an age society, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. So yesterday, the Seoul Metropolitan Government hosted the 17th Dementia Awareness Day event um, at Changchung Stadium, which comes ahead of Dementia Awareness Day ah. on September 21st. Uh, the event was held to raise awareness uh, about dementia and to basically create a supportive community yeah. for not only patients of dementia, but also their families, the caretakers. Um, the slogan for yesterday's event was, it's okay to have dementia. Today, soul is with you. Mm. Uh, the key focus was on promoting empathy and understanding about dementia amongst soul citizens. All right. So maybe you can give us a glimpse into the events yeah. that took place yesterday. So the program featured several events that came together under the general theme, uh, wearing memories, holding on to remembrance. Uh, some of the highlights of the event included uh, Kalimba and Choir performance yeah. by a group of dementia caregivers. Uh, there was also a talk show that featured a YouTuber who shared their personal experience about taking a care of their grandmother uh, who has who suffers from dementia. And uh, their story highlighted both the challenges of taking care of a dementia patient, as well as the special moments uh, that come with caring for somebody you love. So it was a really personal mm. story that was shared. Uh, there was also a senior fashion show. <laughs> uh, photos have been shared widely uh, on the internet. Uh, the fashion show is titled A Wardrobe of Memories, uh, featuring dementia patients and their families walking down the runway. Uh, they were wearing outfits that were part of their, you know, cherished memories, oh. including school uniforms and even wedding dresses. I always wondered for any of my friends who bought their wedding dresses, when will you ever wear, wear it, it again? Because yeah. it's, it's such a huge piece in your it's, closet. It's a, it's a memorabilia in your closet. Right, right. I, that you, what, you what, look oh. at once in a while, I guess. <laughs> When's the last time you looked at it? <laughs> 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 yeah. A, but anyway, but this makes it really yeah. special, doesn't it? That's right. Okay. So, uh, and also, uh, while they were walking down the runway wearing these, uh, you know, clothing that was full of memories, old photos of these special uh, moments were shown on a screen. I'm crying. Yeah, I know, right? Which added a really personal and sentimental touch as well. Uh, it's, this is really well thought out. Right? I, I think so, yeah. too. Now, Seoul Mayor Oh Se-hun also joined the fashion show in the finale section, actually, in in his old school uniform uh, to show solidarity with patients, families, and caregivers. Mm. And uh, he revealed that he too mm. was the son of a parent with dementia. They're getting really personal, huh? I yeah. mean, they're not inclined and they're not required to share mm -hmm. these stories, but that's what makes it relatable. Yeah, I think so. Right. It's all about empathy after all, right? right. And Absolutely. understanding. Uh, the event also included an awards ceremony for people who have made significant contributions to dementia care. Now, Kim Tae-hee, who is the director of the Seoul Citizen Health Bureau, said the event gave citizens a chance to connect with dementia families. Mm. Uh, she added that the city is committed to making Seoul a place where dementia patients and their families can live safely and also comfortably. It sounds rather successful, especially yep. based on the pictures and the reviews and what people are saying yes. about it. Rave reviews. Mm -hmm. Maybe this could be an annual yeah. thing. Yep. All right. On to our second story today. I mean, if it wasn't obvious to you, maybe an eye doctor's warning will just give you a rude yeah, awakening or a photo oh god yeah yeah it's, are we gonna stream it we are oh, no not the images know. it's it's pretty horrendous to <laughs> yeah. look at wearing waterproof mascara to bed can be mm. harmful to your health surprise yeah so this one eye doctor <laughs> who often posts uh tips on tiktok and instagram uh, has revealed a dangerous and really disgusting uh, potential side effect of wearing waterproof mascara 
to bed. Mm. Um, Dr. Gurleen Danoa uh, kind of shocked her social media followers uh, when she suggested that failing to remove waterproof mascara could lead to a really gross side effect. Now, okay. she challenged viewers in this video. She said, if you sleep in your waterproof mascara, flip your eyelids. I dare you. No thanks. No thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm wearing waterproof mascara right and, now. And let's be honest, because we wake up so early yeah. on one of those long days, doesn't your uh, like eyes physically start to hurt yeah. after wearing a lot Definitely. of makeup? So for that's sure. a reminder yeah. for me to remove yeah. the makeup. Well, remove well, thoroughly. thoroughly. So after advising viewers to sort of check their eyes, uh, she uh, reveals a photo of the inside mm. of a woman's eyelid and if you look at it just briefly it basically looks like mold or specks of mascara it's like these black dots inside her eyelids and the photo was pulled from a previous issue of the journal of the american academy of ophthalmology okay so it's probably one of the worst examples yeah. out there and, and i'm assuming this patient probably is a repeat <sighs> Um, yes. What's the right word for it? Mascara abuser? Yeah. <laughs> Someone who's not taking off their this makeup. Is obviously habitual for her. Habitually, yeah. yeah. Uh, I am horrified and a little bit intrigued. Yeah. Uh, what do we see in the photos? We'll describe it for yeah, you. Yeah, so according to the study, uh, this 50 year old Australian woman developed a serious eye condition mm. after she wore heavy mascara for 25 years and she didn't remove it. Uh, properly before going to bed. Again, it, it was a habit for her. Just, 25 years. Yeah, 25 years of uh -huh. wearing waterproof mascara. Uh -huh. Now, the mascara had formed tiny hard deposits that were embedded in the skin yeah. under her eyelids, and some of the deposits are sort of coming out of the skin and scratching her eyeballs oh, as no. well. Uh, so, and the woman developed a, an infection in the mucous membrane that covers the eye and the eyelid, which is really unsurprising. Absolutely not, because yeah. your eyes will want to try to get removed, those yeah. specks, for example, mm. continuously work over time. That's not good either. So should we stay away from waterproof mascara? No. no. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, without it, I would just be a panda, yeah. and that's not fun. Uh, just maybe making sure that yeah. you thoroughly remove your makeup right. each night, that's important. The doctor did recommend that instead of waterproof makeup, yeah. people might want to switch to water-resistant oh. mascara. And uh, she says that your eyelashes need to uh, stay clean because they're protecting the eyes right. and the lashes are, they're nourished actually by oil glands. Right. And if those glands or the follicles are clogged right. with mascara, that causes a problem. You can generate something that looks like a pimple, right? Yeah. Because you're clogging the pores, especially of these yes. glands, right? And the problem with that is it lubricates your eye every time you blink. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it does. That's right. So experts warn that not removing all eye makeup before bed can also lead, lead to other, um, mm. you know, eye... Uh, diseases like sure. pink eye or even other bacterial and viral infections. Do we have something? No. 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 Oh, I no. no I'm just pausing because I just I, I saw the images and I uh -huh. can't kind of get it out of right. my head. It's yeah. kind of gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't advise you to look it up. But yeah, just I, I know mm, at the end of the day we're right, all tired and right. we want to hit the hay, but right. just you know just just remove your makeup, makeup thoroughly. Yeah. I, I think the problem is when I fall asleep on the couch, not so much on the bed. Right. I would never be caught dead dragging makeup into bed. But, you know, but honestly speaking, right. you know, anyone who wears makeup, we've all done it in the past. Oh, yes. You know, you late night out partying, yeah. too tired. Yeah. We're like, OK, just yeah. going to get a quick shut eye, wake <laughs> up and then remove our makeup. And sometimes I'm the only, countless only times. one that thinks this. Sometimes your hair and makeup looks better the day <laughs> after. Anyone? Yeah. Anyone? yeah. <laughs> it's the worst thing you can do for your skin yes, and your eyes. Right. And it's potentially dangerous if it becomes yep. habitual. So... Stay safe, Careful. everyone. All right, on to our final story today. Sure. I think this is kind of funny. So we're going from fridge scaping to yes. airport tray aesthetic. It's exactly what it sounds like. That's right. Um, you know, <laughs> it, th this is exactly what it is. You know, you go to the airport and then, you know, those gray, they're usually gray, aren't they? Yeah, the the yeah. gray trays where you dump your, you know, carry-ons yeah. and whatnot before you, you know, go to immigration. Exactly. Um, so uh, what people are doing is that uh, on social media, well, there's this new trend called the airport tray aesthetic. 
airport tray aesthetic. And most of us, well, we quickly toss our belongings yeah. into the trays. We just want to get this over and done with right. as quickly as possible. Yeah. But some people are actually going out of their way to arrange their personal items in an aesthetically pleasing way. So they're taking items out of their uh, bags okay. and then carefully placing them on these airport trays. Do you think, I mean, because that's probably not all they're traveling with. Like, the, they have an aesthetically pleasing yeah, box they and know, they have the everything else box. <laughs> they knew exactly what they were packing okay. before they left the home that morning to take this meticulously arranged Wait, photograph I kind of want to do it just to, just to see if I can do it because we're also, <laughs> like, you know, rushing to, yep. you know, get get in essentially and there are people waiting behind you and while you're doing this I just wonder will I get just a nasty look for doing this so for those of you who cannot see the Armages? photos that we're streaming right now these personal items can be anything from you know your designer handbag your shoes sandals accessories headphones hats to even books that you're planning like to read okay. while you're on your trip uh, you know some even focus on filling their trip with items that are matchy-matchy in color, <laughs> right? To really catch the eye. So the whole point of this is to place everything meticulously on the tray to take photographs mm. of them and then to share them on your TikTok or Instagram. So how are people yeah. responding to it? Do they think this is excellent? Or oh, are, are they also no. cringing just a little bit? You know, the, the, the reactions are mixed, actually. Mm. Um, you know, the, the, the reactions are really mixed. Some people wrote, uh, airport security is busy enough as it is. Right. This trend needs to die. Uh, somebody else wrote, <laughs> if someone does this, in Atlanta airport, I'm going to scream. Have you seen the line? No, ma'am. Do not hold up my line for a photo. Uh, one ex-user, I found this hilarious. One ex-user was mistaken about the generation behind this latest trend. They shared their disapproval with one word. Millennials. Are you a boomer? You're a boomer, aren't <laughs> Must you? Be. Uh, don't single us out. Yes, yeah, so, not me. <laughs> so some people are saying this is sort of like the evolved kind of trend from, you know, hashtag foodstagram. Yeah. A lot of people Is like to take aesthetic now? photos okay. of what Food. they're eating, right. their, their dinner table, right. because it kind of showcases their lifestyle right. and whatnot. But this is kind of taking it to the next level because you're also sort of uh, displaying your wealth right. and, uh, you know, just luxury in because general, plus the excitement of travel. Yeah, because yeah. travel is associated yep. with luxury. That's right. As is your probably very expensive handbag. Right. And headsets are also expensive mm -hmm. and the list really does go on. Yeah. It's like, and it's all captured in one photo. That's right. All right. It's in one photo. And uh, apparently the, the, there's so many of these photos on TikTok and okay. Instagram. Now, content creators have actually hit back. They're staunchly standing behind this trend. They're saying, uh, you know, it's all about expressing yourself and having fun. And uh, they say, they also say they go to great lengths mm -hmm. to avoid inconveniencing others. Okay. So they basically grab a tray, okay. go somewhere else, right, and right. then do this. They come back and yeah. still line. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, you may do whatever you want. Uh, I wonder if our listeners, any of our listeners, I mean, we're, we're past a summer peak travel season, yes. but ha have, you, have you seen... Anybody try Anybody out? Try this out. The airport the tray airport aesthetic. This because past summer, I've seen it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I've seen it on Instagram. Yeah, but I've never seen someone do it in front of me. Right. And the hashtags nice. are funny. So uh, off to Santorini. <laughs> so a very Santorini themed. <laughs> I feel like it needs tray. to be like white and blue. Yeah, and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Erica. <laughs> Pleasure as always. So much fun. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. If you're listening to our program using the podcast service, just a reminder that we do go live Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Korea Standard Time. So tune in and help us make the show more informative by giving us your input. See you bright and early on Good Morning Seoul.